Hi, I'm Olivia, and I'm from Troop 60238. Hi, I'm Charlotte, and I'm also from Troop 60238. During our Girl Scout meeting a few weeks ago, we did an activity on cybersecurity. In this activity, our message ended up being meet me at the beach. We split up into pairs, and one girl would go on one side of the room, and one girl would go on the other side. Then our troop leaders dispersed strings and the sender was on one side and the receiver was on the other side. The sender had to find a way to make the cards go throughout all of the rest of our Girl Scout troop and get to the receiver. We would send them down the line and then they would go on to, to one girl, to the other girl, to the other girl. The receiver had to take all of the cards and make sure that they were in the right order and read the message out loud. It shows how many people, how many websites see your message. Sometimes when it goes to sender to receiver, it doesn't even come in the way that it should. Sometimes it will come, beach, meet me, at. Would you want to include your birthday? No. no. And your username? No. no. When you're well, sending personal information through an email, a message, either want to not do it at all, or make sure that it's not, that nobody could take it and use it to their advantage. Your password shouldn't be just a word because a hacker could go and have the dictionary and hook it up to your to his computer and just go through with the dictionary and easily find your password. This was my first STEM activity with Girl Scouts, but I definitely think I learned a lot from our from this STEM activity and I would love to learn more about STEM. I definitely want to learn more about STEM with Girl Scouts because my sister, she is a mechanical engineer and also in school I really like to build things and I also really like math. I don't think I would have ever gotten the chance to really be a part of STEM without Girl Scouts and I think Girl Scouts has helped me learn just more about science, technology, more about STEM in general.